What is up guys, Darius of Duality Gaming here giving you Fury Part 2 and we are going to the next boss which is called The Line apparently he's a master of time um, first time I fought this boss I was actually on a Skype call with um, my co-host and he saw me raging out I think he's gonna like this episode, you know me raging out because I barely do it in games so this boss battle is in the scale of 1 to 10 I'll give him a decent 6 Depending on how you approach it, because you can't always go over the hack and slash method, which is, you know, go up close, slash him, bring down his health as quickly as possible you can. Um, you know, um, because he has a lot around him, so it's better off to do as my usual method, which is pick him off until you're allowed to get close distant. Distance. Yeah, I like how the controller um, thing, oh, the light changes. Um, I swear he looks like one of the brothers from first time, right? Really? Okay, let's see if we can try to do this first time as well. Hopefully, we can. Yeah, he's only a four. He has four life. There's one trophy of um, destroying the whole shield. Uh, I can't really be bothered with that. Really. That destroy all this shield before you attack him in this first phase. That's one of the trophies. Good shit. Okay. As I always say, um, if those of you playing game or playing this game on PC, rec I recommend you get a joypad for this. And for those of you who are playing this on the PS4, Use the L but the L one button or the R two L two button to dodge instead of X, because X is well X removes you from shooting, so you can't be moving and shooting at the same time. Whereas the L two button or the L one button allows you to shoot and move when it comes to dodging. Obviously, don't keep the one spot; just keep moving around. Because if you do that, at least you know. Oh shit. I'm kind of glad that once you hit him, he, that's him. Shit. Almost got hit there. Yeah, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of glad when you hit him, that's the end of the first one. Uh. Shit. Uh, I'm not. don't want to die here. Because this first round. This first stage is not even hard. If I die here, it just sh shows my lack of. Um, I don't know. My lack of ability for the rest. Considering the rest is not that hard. But then again, this is what, second playthrough, I'm trying to get a better score than the D. So I, I did rage out a lot playing this. There we go. I wasn't going for that trophy. Okay. Still can't hit him, destroy the pillar first. Obviously he's going to send out a lot of shockwaves. You can you can either block it at the right time and send it back to him. Obviously, if, if you want to do that, it makes things marginally easier for you when it comes to dodging. Or if we did what I just did and take a hit for the team. Basically, these battles do give you a lot of brain processing power. Like, you know, you can't just focus on one thing each round. You have to focus about three, and they do work together. They work together in a right, in a nice way, rather than like how I don't know. All right, I have to wait for him. Wait for him. Wait. Oh yeah, why did I do that? When you're in his um his time space, you you can't slow down time. Slow down time, like you could do that in the first place. You can't um shoot your gun. So he basically forces it to a close co combat map match. Yeah, I should really concentrate on his attack pattern. There we go. 
I do like these cinematics, like these cinematic attacks. They're nice to look at. I was expecting that. And as you can see, you can dodge whilst holding the sword button. Makes things marginally easier. Oh, I still get hit. Boo. See, look. Already, I've got two things to think about. Destroying his shield and dodging. I shouldn't. I shouldn't go greedy for health. Come on. And here's another slow motion part. Which I have to get into a nice, clear, open space for him to come out, pop out, block, and s kind of follow him. There we go. Again, this boss battle was not as hard as I remembered it. But saying that, the first part is generally just learning. Like, the first time you actually do this game is learning every boss battle. I mean, well done to the people who actually got like A, B's, C's on the first time. There we go. My recommendation for blocking and health is block everything. Because it really helps in terms of healing. And also helps you for later on battles. Because later on battles, some require some sword skills style. Okay. I think I'm in his third phase now. I can't remember what his third phase is like, so bear with me. Don't remember it being too difficult. Actually, there's no point shooting. Just keep dodging. He moves faster that way anyway. Uh, yep, yeah, there's more to think about. Oh yeah, in terms of movement of this game, if you're shooting and moving, it slows him down considerably because I think he wants to concentrate on where he's shooting. Whereas if you just move standardly, he's actually quite a fast mover. Ah, yes, I remember now. Shoot out every single pole. It's not hard. It's just... It's tedious. It's real te tedious. Right, later on boss battles do the same thing, like shoot everything down and then you can come to me, kind of thing. If, I sh if I'm not missing, which I shouldn't be. Oh well. Because I want to get this done over with. Also, I don't want to rush this too much. Come on. Also, another tip for playing this game is um, what is another tip? My 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 other recommendation of playing this game is make sure you have make sure you you are not going to pause this. Make sure you're not going to get bothered by like someone in your household. Someone's going to give you a phone call because you pause this. This is your whole like mindset just comes out of out of this game for for like a minute. There we go. I think I finished it. Yeah, I finished it. Alright. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up because I've, like I said, I'm going to do a boss battle per episode now. Because if I do two, it gets a bit too long. And I'm also taking consideration as in like failures and retries. So, yeah. One boss battle per thing. The first one was obviously, you know, a starter story. Like, you know, a, a little beginning episode special. So yeah, I have been your host, Deuce, of the White Game and Giving You Fury on the PS4. Um, like if you did, just like if you did it, uh, subscribe helps me mat out and share this with your friends. And as I always say, say people, stay safe.